Hi everyone! This week the River and Rain Museum is going to be teaching you how to make your own origami hopping toads. To make your hopping toads you will need one piece of square paper. To make a perfect square you can fold an A4 piece of paper into a triangle, meeting in the corners, and cut off the extra rectangle you have left. Remember to reuse or recycle your scraps. Also, if you are using sharp scissors, please ask a grown-up to do the cutting for you. Now that you have your square, you need to fold it in half to create a rectangle shape. Now, fold over one of the corners, folding it down into a triangle shape. Fold the corner down on the other side, creating a pyramid shape. Fold back up and repeat this step on the other side. Did you know that frogs legs are longer than their heads and bodies combined? And they can jump very far, while toads have shorter legs and they tend to crawl and do small hops. Now you should have an overlapping zigzag shape on your paper. Now you need to get hold of the two triangles on one side and push them together and fold over the top triangle so that it is now on top. It should look like a pyramid on top of a square. Repeat this step on the other side so that you create a square shape. Now, take one side of the triangle and fold up the top layer of paper so that it meets at the top of the square. Repeat this on the opposite side. Now you've done this step, you're going to go back to each small folded triangle and fold it in half again, so that it's pointing out from the square slightly. By doing this, you're creating the toad's leg. Repeat this step two more times on the other side. Did you know that frogs have smooth and slimy wet skin, while toads have dry and warty skin? Now flip your toad over. Fold up one of the corners of the square between the toad's legs. Now fold in the two other sides of the square, turning the toad's body into a thinner triangle. Now turn him over and fold him in half, and fold back again a bit further down. This gives him the ability to hop. And you're finished! Feel free to colour in your toad as you like, and why not have a toad hopping race? Thanks for watching and if you make your own hopping toads why not share them with us on our social media.